Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes and also Anne Makes at annemakes.blogspot.com, the blog where I share DIYs, tutorials, how to's, product reviews, and whatever else. <laughs> so I know I went to Dollar Tree about four days ago, but I was beside one today, so I stopped in. Unfortunately, the video of that haul uh, was accidentally deleted. So I, luckily I found some still photos of uh, the most of the items that were crafty at, the, at least. And I am putting them in here into this, this part of the video. In there includes uh, these pencils that I uh, hope to do a product review for you guys on that. And in the bottom of the screen, I there are some pictures of some Bridal Wish products. To look for a few things, here is uh, my Dollar Tree haul. So today at Dollar Tree, I got these lovely napkins. I have hauled them before but I think they're really cute and I wanted to have some more to get us through most of the summer and also because I want to keep some for some uh, crafting projects. I got this can of air freshener in Pot Pourri and my store finally got these crackle candles that I've seen others haul on YouTube and I was, oh, I was dying to see them at my store and finally they are there. So these are the ones I bought. I got this um, old Williamsburg candle, Sleepy Time, it has a very nice scent. That's the crackle one. And this one has two wicks, so I don't think that's a crackle one, but it smells really nice. It's uh, rose scented, rose water. And there are a couple more that I got. And I'm just trying to show you a pretty display. I got this foldable fan. I just thought it was very pretty. I like to tuck these into my bag for those really hot summer days. And yeah, sometimes it's just nice to have with me. And over here is another one of the candles I purchased. This one is Cherry Blossom. It also smells very, very nice. And then there is this one, which is the Clover Fields, Clover Field scented candle. And they all smell really nice. And I got these pot holders. They're very pretty and thick. I uh, thought the colors were really cute. And I will be using these in my outdoor studio, which is really our screen porch, where I have a little toaster oven that I bake um, clays and I make uh, things out of smelly stuff that has to be baked. And I don't want to do that in the house. I do it outside in the summertime. So these, that's what these will be for. I got some Canada napkins. I had forgotten to get these. Every time I'd been to the Dollar Tree and gotten the other Canada Day stuff. So I'm just glad that my Dollar Tree still had some. And yeah, so I bought a package of those. And I also got a package of these striped ones because I thought, oh, these are kind of nice in the summertime. So got that. Oh, my Dollar Tree finally got the tong turners. I'd seen other people haul these and I thought oh yeah they're, those look neat because at one end you have like the flat spatula type and this one is like the tong so whatever you put on the grill when you want to turn it over you can actually grip it so you don't because sometimes when you, you flip over a burger or something with the spatula well I'm like that I'm a little uh, I'm a little uh, clumsy in the, on the barbecue and sometimes I'll drop the burger and it falls between the grill so uh, this way I might be able to save my save the burgers and 
I got this jar that is in the kitchen stuff and I was hoping to find one that was slightly bigger but I'm gonna give this one a shot anyway I thought I would use this for putting some cotton balls in the bathroom I bought three of these mason jar with the little tea light holder inside I think these are really really pretty and I bought three because I thought if I set these out outside I'll need more I definitely won't need more than one but I might actually go back and get some more depends on on the decor that I decide to do I got some frames this one is an 8 by 10 I like this one better than the others I'll show you um, because it's oh what's that Oh, there's gunk on there I have to check that out um, it's an 8 by 10 I'm hoping to use this to frame uh, my son's high school certificate I'm I'm we're so excited he is graduating this year and so we want to do a, like a little surprise celebration for him and in this bag I have a whole bunch of uh, graduation stuff to show you so uh, they have these certificates of achievement frames and I'm not I'm not crazy about them they're kind of thin and I don't know they're not very high quality I find but, but I did like this one but I still bought this in case that one is too small but maybe not so we'll have to uh, check that out while I was there, I got some snacks for the boys. Some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Twizzlers, fudge striped shortbread cookies, some blueberry bars, well those I like for myself, the Toad Alley Chuck Zells, one of my favorite snacks. I also got a jar of cayenne pepper and there is two and a quarter ounces or 64 grams in here for a dollar 25 and I got this sauce because my son likes uh, spicy sauces medium a buffalo wing oh you probably won't find it hot enough hot sauce <laughs> and oh the candy uh, we really like the taste of this watermelon salt water taffy so I got two little bags So Dollar Tree is a great place to get some really nice and affordable party supplies to celebrate the grad this year. I've noticed that in the last few uh, years, every year they, they seem to have some nice, some really nice decorations and this year is very exciting for us because we do have a graduate in the house. Uh, we just found out the other day was confirmed and we are so excited and so proud and we wanted to do something for him at home a little something at home um, and it'll be kind of a surprise so shh, you can't tell him about this stuff <laughs> okay I don't think I don't think he watches my videos anyways not gonna have time right now to watch my videos so these are the things I found at Dollar Tree and that I bought and there was a whole bunch of other things so I got this and uh, well I forgot what these are called but they can hold like a picture or even like a memo on your desk and that's what it says 2017 grad with a little hat and tassel I got him a key ring and it's a graduation tassel with the dates on it for 2017. So that's really cute. It's really fun. Doesn't have to use it. The keychain doesn't want to, but I just thought for the for the sake of commemorating this day. And this letter banner, I like that one, this one because but it's great for my son and it says congrats grad it's in black and gold 
and everything that I picked out is mostly the black and gold. I did I did make him a little gift box and it's exactly black and gold so this will match with it and so I got some tablecloths there and I got him this card yeah I, maybe it's too cutesy for him I just love it but uh, if I don't have time to make him one then this is the one he'll get or he'll get both <laughs> I got these hair clips um, I'll see if he'll put one on so I can take a picture of him, but maybe he won't let me, and I don't blame him, but maybe we'll put it on the cat, and that will be funny. Uh, this nice glass, it's very big, it says 2016, yay, yeah. Some gold star paper plates, and how many are in there? It doesn't say how many. Oh, some confetti, of course. Some grad confetti. And they have these lovely stickers um, or seals, I guess. I'm not too sure. But it, there's a lot on each, in each package. And they come on two different prints. And they are available in the gold and in the silver. So I took both because. Um, I'm sure I'll find another use for these afterwards, and plus, you know, I could probably share these with uh, some friends who also have some grads in their family. So these are the grad graduation supplies I got at Dollar Tree. And here is the craft supply portion, because as you know me, I cannot go into a Dollar Tree and not buy some craft supplies. So. Let's look at what I got today. Uh, these were new. I was there uh, four days ago and they, I swear I didn't see these. So they must have put them out and since I went there. And they're just some sticker variety packs uh, that come with like a sheet of bling. There's a smaller sheet of stickers and then a longer sheet. And there's like a long border sticker on them and this says just because me and you and I got this one as well there's some like uh, yellow colored gems and some larger stickers on this sheet and on the longer sheet again there's a long border and this one says love and friends and there are birds and flowers Oh, these, one, these ones are like the bright colors and kind of juvenile a bit. And they had others with like mermaids and they had some with the puffy, puffier stickers with animals. And it just, um, they, had, they were really, really cute. And I thought, especially for kids, <clears throat> well, the ones with the little animals and the, the mermaids and, and such, um, I thought, oh, those, they're really cute for, for children. Um, and you get 61, yeah, it's a count of 61 pieces in here for $1.25, so that's pretty good. I picked up another package of the burlap circles. I still don't know what I'll be doing with the ones I got the other day, but I know that I will find something and I will need more than two. So I got this package. This, I have these two books. Uh, they're the same. And one is going to turn into collage fodder for um, my crafting because, I don't remember which one it was, but one of them, th this one, which is perfect, is going to be a, a gift. And this one, if you look inside, part of it was bound upside down. So, since <laughs> it's can't be really so I got it and I uh, will be taking it apart for collage so I'll be saving the, the black and white photographs that are throughout the book for um, collage fodder or ephemera I saw in my thumbtack uh, supplies that I was running low on these two the gold and the silver I use these in different kinds of craft projects and I like to have a lot of these on hand so I'm replenishing my stock with these, and you have 300 in each box. So that's pretty good. 
I got these playing cards with the Canadian flag on them. It will probably turn into a project if I don't if we don't actually use them to play cards. I got these keychains uh, just because they're really heavy weight and for $1.25 I have it's such a good price. And these will make some lovely charms on some junk journals or other such, or even they'll make great keychains. Here are the tapes that I picked up today. Got this one. Here's the other tape. I couldn't remember if I had this one, and I thought, I, I don't think I do. So I got this one. And I don't remember having this one either. So that one and uh, the butterflies. Now the chalkboard masking tape, I know I have some, but I really like it. So when I saw that they had some more, I was like, oh, I'm going to get another roll. So I did. And I looked in the, I always look like in the party favors and things because I, I look for small things that I can use as mixed media um, and an altar for my my mixed media, my collage, my art journals. And these are little compasses and I intend to like spray paint the colored plastic parts to make them look metal and make them look a little vintagey. And so these make for really inexpensive um, you know, I don't want to say his name, but some designer like craft supply for uh, mixed media. <laughs> and they all, there's eight in here for $1.25. So a little bit of spray paint and I will alter these to make them look like the real deal and small. And I like these lacy stickers and I'm collecting stuff for some vintage art journaling. That's, that's, that's a lot, that project's a long way away, but I'm collecting some items for that. So I'll be using these. And I just got another set of the Canadian Souvenir Laser Stickers. Um, just because I know that after, after June, these will, you know, I won't be able to see these again until next year. And if I want to make another project with uh, some Canadian stickers. I might, you know, I won't have anything else. So that's why I got these. And that is that for my uh, Dollar Tree haul today. I hope that you liked it. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Also appreciate your comments and any questions below. And if you are not subscribed and you'd like to, please do so. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So uh, take care of yourself and I will catch you after the next haul. Bye.